Let's look at what it takes to replace the canister vent solenoid on a GMW body. And today we're working on a 2006 Chevy Impala and I'm by the driver's side rear tire. So I'm behind the rear tire. It's just in front of us here. So this is kind of towards the back of the vehicle. And you'll see up in the inner wheel well here is where we've got the canister vent solenoid. So first things first, I can disconnect the electrical connector. And hopefully you've already done that as you're testing the circuit to verify that the solenoid itself is definitely faulty. Next up, I'm just gonna take a pliers and I'm gonna pinch the hose clamp here and I will release the hose and get that off of there. And then this is slid onto a bracket. So we can see on our new one, there's just a, a ridge here and there will be a little spot where it clips in place. And so it's gonna slide off. We'll get it off there. We'll slide the new one in place, make the connection with our hose, clamp that in place, make our electrical connection, and retest. So it really is pretty simple to go ahead and replace this canister vent solenoid on a GM W body, such as this 2006 Chevy Impala. 